Bismillah. Hi. Uh, today we'll learn some basics of clear SCADA, how to uh, to have an indicator for the digital input, an indicator and control for digital output. Uh, to start, if you want a symbol, go to the symbol library and uh, you uh, tur go turn off the design mode and you click on uh, the buttons 3D round. Uh, you notice here in the database uh, if you double click on this, you will have the symbol. So just right click, copy, and go back to your mimic and right click, paste, and you will have the symbol here in your mimic. Now we need to attach this symbol to a point so that it can change color. Uh, so double click on it or right click on it, and you choose animation is up to you. So double click and click on animation. One of the properties you have here, it's under the fill, it's the fill color. Click on flowchart, and you notice here the flowchart of how, how this button will behave. So right click on it and click insert. Now, in order to change this uh, condition from true to attach it to the, uh, to the point you want, right click and click on edit. Click on those three dots, the browse button, and click on the OPC. Now, from the OPC, you can choose uh, for which button you want to uh, attach it. Click on that button and click OK. OK. Now, if this value is a true, what do you want? So you right click on this, click on edit, click on the browse button, and use the colors and choose the color that you'll have for the on button. And for the false, same thing click on edit browse color and choose the color you want to appear when it is off and okay and close and that's it so now if i go to the mode you see that this is green because this uh, input is active now if i press uh, this input you can see it really change uh, the value uh, one uh, another quick tip if you want to name this, just drag uh, the point you created and click on name, and that's the name. So it's very important uh, to name those points in your database, uh, a meaningful name so that you can uh, create them quickly. Now, uh, how to, to do some of uh, those uh, flip switches? For sure, the indicators are the same now for the input and for the output. You will just attach it to the input or an output uh, value on database. Now, how to make this uh, flip switch the same way? So you go to uh, the symbol library and go out of the design mode, click on button switches, and you notice here you have the two pictures of the flip switch or the toggle switch. When you click on it here, you will notice you will have the symbol here so right click copy and put it on your mimic so paste and you go back and we we chose the uh, toggle switch which is down we'll choose the toggle switch for the up and go back to our uh, actually here and paste and we will resize this and we'll put those two now what i want to do is uh, double click on this one i'll go to uh, animation and from the animation i'll go to visibility or visible property and uh, for the flow chart the same thing, I will hit insert, and here I'll click edit, and from the OPC, I'll tag it to the point I want to control. Let's take DQ03, and I hit OK. So, what do you want? When it is uh, a true, uh, it's invisible. When it is false, I'll give it value of 1. OK, close. Now, for the action, I'll choose a method and I'll tag it here to the point I want to control. So I'll change both of those to control. And I want when I click it to have a value of one. I'll type one 
next finish now i'll go to the other one and do the inverse i'll go to animation to visible and the flow chart insert i'll tag it edit opc and i'll tag this point okay and when it is true i'll have it one and when it is false it's zero close close and for the action i want it to be a zero okay control control next so the value it will be zero next next finish now let's try if it works so when i click on it you can see it was uh it's invisible and it turned uh, the output on so you see here uh, the indicator and the third button and if i click this you will see this one will be invisible the other one will be visible so uh, the last thing after make sure everything is working i'll just bring this on top of this one and now let's work you will see you already created a nice flip switch okay the other uh, issue we want to i want to talk about is how to use uh, the button so if you go to graphics you will find here there is a button and you just draw that button in your mimic and either double click or right click animation so if you if you go to the button properties you will see here under style for sure the text here you can type any text that you want to show so we will call it uh, also digital uh, digital value and here in the style the normal is it's a, it's a normal uh, push button so if you want to have a, to start and you will have another button for stop you will use uh, the style normal but if you want to use the same button uh, to turn on and off uh, the same output you will use latch uh, either latch or latch with feedback latch with feedback only the animation will change faster so we'll choose latch with feedback now in order to configure this button you will go to animation and in latch uh, you click on flow chart insert uh, right click edit and you choose the button you want to control so let's say uh, bq00 okay and its value when it's true it's one now in order this to work as a latch it's very important also to uh to set the latch property and if you, i want the color to be changed i'll go to the fill color the same thing i'll click insert and i'll attach this to uh the opc tag so it is the same output and i'll change the color edit I want it when it is on to be green and when it is off some shade of gray and okay so now those the settings for the animation now the setting for pick action uh, I'll choose a method and you notice here this method configuration when the button is down this is why we chose the latch because now we will have a configuration for when the button is down and the other one the button is up so when i press this button i want the output zero zero uh, i want to control it so i'll choose this as a control and i'll give it a value of one now you will see when i click next it's the method configuration but now when the button is up so i'll choose the same tag and control and now i will change the value when it is zero next if you will need to put some comments and finish we finish the setting for this button so let's go out of design mode i'll click on it and you can see uh, my digital zero zero uh, is working it, if i click on it again uh, you will see uh, it's changing value and changing uh, setting uh, for sure you can choose uh, any color you want and you can see actually in the animation it looked like it was clicked uh, it's like going inside 
and when you click on it again it will it will raise uh, so those some basics of how to use uh, the indicators and the buttons and of course uh, you just drag the value from uh, for the your analog value and uh, i hope this will help you thank you very much